Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another Clean and Organized with Me video. Today we are tackling my pantry. I did a video, I think about two years ago now, at least, where I originally went through and did a full pantry organization. I got all these containers, all these baskets, labels, the full, the full shebang, and it turned out really cute, really aesthetically pleasing, really functional, and I was able to keep it like that for a while. But it's been some time since then. I have accumulated more items. I have started to host a lot more parties, and so I have entertaining products and stuff in there and it has just kind of exploded into a huge mess recently and so i basically need to go back and reorganize the entire pantry so my pantry is pretty much divided into three sections because i have three walls of shelves to work with i have the main back wall here which is the largest and i pretty much already have it set up to be the main everyday food storage wall so this is like my actual food then i have the two walls on either side and i kind of started to use this side as storage for all of my entertaining supplies so anything that i use for parties and stuff like that and then this side it's just a jumbled up mess but what it really should be is basically the back stock so extra food like bulk amounts of food that don't fit into these containers can be stored over here as back stock, extra paper towels and toilet paper, even laundry detergent, and just all the stuff that I buy in bulk that I have extras of can be stored over here. At least that's what I want it to be. Right now it's just a mess and there's also stuff all over the floor. There shouldn't need to be anything on the floor by the time that I'm done with this. So that's pretty much the plan. Main food, entertaining, back stock. So Chef Tony is here to help Team Virgo. <laughs> and I see that she has taken the liberty of drawing a map, a diagram of I guess what she thinks I should do. What's the plan so far? Like what are you? Well, I think I planned out all the different things that we need containers for. Now whether all that stuff fits in these containers, I don't know. Cause the thing is I already have baskets and containers for my main food, but I don't have any containers for the entertaining stuff and I don't have any rhyme or reason for how I'm storing that or the back stock. So that's really what all the new containers are for. I really don't need like food containers. The stuff just needs to be cleaned out and re-put into the containers as far as the food. But for the entertaining stuff, we're kind of starting from scratch as far as like how to even store it. But really first things first, the pantry just needs to be cleaned out because we can't do anything in there until we get all the mess out the way. So I think we should just start by moving a lot of the stuff out the way so we can even see what I'm working with. Did go to Costco recently, but didn't put the stuff away. We need to wipe the shelves down because they have like never been wiped down apparently and they are very dusty and grimy okay so the entertaining side of the pantry has been cleared off and wiped down it is prepped to be organized but before we actually get started with organizing all that stuff I need to fix up this section with just the regular snacks and stuff. This already has a system, it just hasn't been used properly recently. So I just need to kind of just put everything back how it goes. And I did kind of recently go shopping, so I have all these snacks that need to be loaded into these bins. And it just kind of needs to be judged up a little bit. So I'm gonna get that out the way first before we move on to doing this whole big overhaul on this side and that side. If you go right side up, upside down pattern, it, well, it should have told me that. Pro tip.
Okay, so that is the main wall pretty much put back together. I could stand to restock a few more things, so I'll just keep that in mind next time I go grocery shopping, but that's pretty much all I really needed to do for this main wall. But over here on this other side, there's a bunch of non-pantry things, like things that just don't need to live in here, like party supplies from the last couple parties that I threw, balloons and Halloween decorations and just stuff that actually needs to be stored either in the craft room or in my garage. So I am just going to clear all of that out and then we'll be left with more space to actually organize the stuff that does need to be in here. Okay, so here is everything, not out of my whole pantry, just off of the, the one side, the entertainment, entertaining side. Just a lot of stuff, but there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's so like mixed up. I think the first thing to do would be to actually like group it together and categorize it so I can see how much I have so I know what size container I need to put it in and things like that. So we're just gonna move things around and make piles is, right. is my plan. Right. Piles of trays and serving platter. Pile of baking, uten not utensils, baking things. Pile of placemats, pile of candles, pile of crates, pile of table linens, normal paper goods, decorative items for entertaining, circular trays, cups and plates and specialty straws and popcorn things, like all the, what is that called? Napkins, plates, skewers, forks, spoons, straws, umbrellas, like all the different little things, toothpicks. Then we have vessels, special vessels. <laughs> things like this, like signs. Yeah, so it's kind of been categorized loosely. Now we need to map out what's gonna go on each shelf. We can put the bins and the candelabras, as you call them, and the three, two and tea through the two. <laughs> <laughs> but what? two. And three tiered, you know, serving things, we could start up there. Let's just do that. <laughs> what were you saying? So nice. It looks like Crate and Barrel meets Pottery Barn meets West Elm. It's looking good so far. Okay, I so can only far. Hope the rest is going to look as good as this, but. So far so good, but to make it make sense organizationally in my mind, I like like items, like functions together. So this is like displaying the things, displaying the food, putting the food inside of things and on top of things. Also with trays, also with these trays. Placemats, that's not display, that's tablescape. So maybe the placemats don't go here. Maybe they go in a different place where other tablescape items can go next to them. And here, technically, something like this, to me, goes with the display, like, it should go here. And I have a few more of these little pumpkin thingies. So then this shelf will be more about like the tablescape type stuff. So these are all placemats and then I can put other stuff that goes for setting the table, such as my actual real plates and candelabras. <laughs> That's not what these are called. What are these called? Candlesticks. Candlesticks go with setting the table. And then like linen, so like the table runner, blah, 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 blah. So I am going to use these bins to categorize the linen. So this is a table runner. 
I guess I'll put the tablecloth in with this one. And then for napkins, I have this set of napkins with the fringe. I also have this similar set, no fringe. Then I have this little Thanksgiving set with mint to green pumpkins. And lastly, I have a little set of black. Okay, cloth napkins, boop de boo tablecloth. Let's go put these in the pantry. So placemats, plates, candle things, and then it'll be like this. Napkins, tablecloths, candles next to the candles. So I'm thinking with these other bins that I have, I can put all my like leftover different types of paper plates. I have like Valentine's Day, birthday party, Halloween. Put that, and then I also have different sets of napkins. These are their own category. These are like sleeves that you like put a pretzel in. These are tray liners, paper bags. So these kind of are their own thing. Hot dog boats, nacho trays, popcorn. Buckets. To me, this all goes together. This is a, is a section, section, section. Food cups, specialty cups, plates, napkins, and then I have plastic, silverware, straws. Okay, so now I know that I need to buy some sort of better container situation to hold my straws something to hold this nice silverware, something to hold all these extra serving utensils, something to hold all the skewers, toothpicks, and what have you. And then all of this stuff, maybe a container for that. So this is where the straws and the toothpicks and stuff will go. Bottom shelf is gonna be for more just like decoration type stuff. I have like all these extra baskets and plants. As far as the baking supplies go, so far, I know I'm gonna use these new containers for cookie cutters. So I have one set of cookie cutters, another set of cookie cutters in here, that looks cute. I still have a bunch of loose items though, or just like stuff that's just in these little baggies that doesn't look very good, like uh, icing tips, food coloring, candles. And then I also have all these little half-used you know, chocolate chips and candies and stuff that would look a lot cuter if they were in individual containers or jars. This is already like good as is, this is sprinkles and icing, but just need to get some little small some things to hold this stuff. All right, so we can't finish the entertaining section until we get the rest of the containers and bins that we need. Those will be ordered off of Amazon, so have to wait till those come in to finish that, but we're almost done with that. In the meanwhile, I wanna go ahead and tackle this side of the pantry, which is going to be the back stock section. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pretty much leave all the liquor bottles up at the top because a lot of them are too tall, like they don't fit anywhere else anyway. So those have to be on the top like that, but everything else here can definitely be cleaned off and restocked nicely. So just again, starting off by taking everything off. Uh, I have a lot of plastic grocery bags that I keep and they do use them as I have school. So I think I'm just going to maybe keep a few for myself because they do come in handy to have around the house. But take the rest and put them all in one big giant trash bag and take them to Zaya School. Shelves have been cleared and wiped down. I have employed Maya with the task of unwrapping all the paper towels because for some reason, some Times they don't. A certain brand or a certain way you buy them, they come, like they're only in this plastic. This one comes in individual plastic, which I think is wasteful and it's annoying. So I'm having her unwrap all of them so that I can have a nice set of raw paper towels. 
stacked on the shelf. Now, when they were over here, when they were on this side, on the top shelf, I had space to stack them the other way. I'm not really gonna have a lot of space on this side to do it like that. So I guess I'll have to go like that. And then I also have toilet paper. And I have tissue boxes. And I have extra water. I really don't have too much because this a lot of this food is not good. Like I need to throw away some of this stuff. I really need to restock on my food back stock because I really only have like extra sugar, extra juice boxes, and a drop of extra olive oil as far as back stock for food right now. But after I go grocery shopping and after I do a fresh Costco run, I'll have more stuff. So I guess for now I'll kind of just leave empty space on the shelf for when that happens. Okay, so it is now a new day. I had to stop and wait until I was able to get some more containers to finish up everything in the pantry. Let me figure out what's gonna go in what. I think I definitely wanna put like this stuff. These are all like items that can go in one container. Okay, so this worked out perfectly as far as these like serving utensils that I use for parties and stuff. And then I got this stair step um, little thing, <laughs> display thing. And then these containers in various sizes. So like large, medium, and small, which can fit onto this stair step thing like so, for example, and then fill it all up because I got multiple. And the reason why I got this is because I wanted to create some symmetry, you know me, Virgo style. Um, I already had this same thing over on this side for canned goods. And so I'm gonna create symmetry by putting that over here and using the containers to hold all these little like baking, like chocolate chips and little candies and stuff that you use for baking. I'm gonna transfer those into the container so it'll be like symmetrical stair step over there, stair step over here. Okay guys, so here is the finished product of the pantry. We have the first back wall, which like I said, this is the main food wall. So it's looking a little bit understocked right now because like I keep saying, I don't fully have like my normal groceries right now. But for the most part, you can see kind of how everything just got zhuzhed up um, back into its original place. Didn't really add anything new over here, except for on this side, I added this. I added the stair step thing, all the like candy melts, chocolate chips, candies and stuff for like decorating cakes and cookies. I even have some empty containers for anything that I wanna add. And these will be cycled through pretty often because you know, if I bake cookies and I use this whole thing of chocolate chips, then you know I can use it again for something else. So those are just reusable airtight containers to keep all this stuff fresh and it looks a lot prettier than all the little bags of you know the original wrapping that it came in. I also love the fact that it is symmetrical 
with the cans over here. So when you look at the whole thing all together, it's just, you know, aesthetically pleasing and balanced. Same thing with this Lazy Susan over here that I already had. I balanced it by adding another one over here that has like icing and sprinkles and other baking stuff. As well as on this lower shelf, I added these new containers that have the cookie cutters, food coloring, and candles and cake toppers in it so that all that stuff is organized and next to each other. Up here, I just didn't really have a good spot to put this. I feel like this doesn't necessarily make sense to be here because it's like all the toothpicks and skewers and stuff. But you know, it works. It kind of balances because on the other side I have the pasta. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of balanced. Y'all see what I mean? Then on this side, the right side, which is everything for entertaining holidays, throwing parties, setting the table, everything like that. We have the top row, which has like the boxes and the empty jars, the trays, like just kind of all the stuff that I might use to like decorate and set up stuff for a party if I'm setting food out. Second row, similar kind of thing, trays, Lazy Susans. Um, these are napkin rings for when I use real napkins. All my different trays and boards, my little collection of pumpkin jars that I use for like Halloween and Thanksgiving. And then on the third row, this is mostly stuff for tablescapes, table settings. So I have all my different types of placemats that I've collected here. I have my nice new set of plates, um, copper colored chargers, gold colored chargers. Then this is for cloth napkins. I have a few different kinds in there. This one is like tablecloths and table runners, my faux candles, and then these are all like serving utensils. Um, I have like a normal set of utensils that are in my kitchen drawers, but these are specifically extra tongs and spoons and things that I use whenever I'm entertaining. Next, we have kind of all the paper and plastic wear that I use for parties and entertaining. So different kinds of plastic cups, paper plates, other random, you know, hot dog boats, nacho trays, popcorn cups. This one is for napkins. Then we have straws. And then we have the silverware over here. So all of these like items are together on one shelf, but they're organized into their own containers. So it just works a lot better than how I had it before, all jumbled up. Then this last shelf is more like decorative stuff. So I have like these different chalkboard signs that I use. Um, when I entertain decorative candles, candle sticks, candle holders, plants, baskets, fake fruit, fake plants, all this type of stuff that like, I might include it when I'm setting the table or when I'm laying food out just to make it look cute. And then on the floor right now, I have this additional decorative stuff because this is normally my everyday decorative stuff, but because it is the holiday season right now, I have holiday stuff out instead. So my normal everyday stuff is just being stored here for now. And that is pretty much it. I can see everything that I have because I got all these clear containers. Um, so I can check here before I go out and buy extra stuff and end up with doubles. Um, this is just a lot more functional and it looks a lot better as well. And then on this side, nothing too exciting. Top row still has all the alcohol, nothing really changed there, but we now are using this side for the backstock. So all the paper towels, all the toilet paper, all of my tissue boxes, extra water bottles, extra juice boxes and other random stuff. There's not too much over here. I have all this empty space because again, when I go to the grocery store, when I go to Costco, then it'll be filled up. And then the other things that I have over here is just my vacuum, my Dyson vacuum charging station. And then I hung up my plastic baggie holder. I actually screwed it into the wall this time so it would hold on there a lot better. And then this actually just has the um, different vacuum attachments. So I just keep that here to keep it nearby the vacuum. Little step stool and my Roomba, which is kind of busted. I need a new Roomba. I think I'm gonna put that on my Christmas list. That is this side, nothing too exciting, but a lot more organized and gives me a lot more space to work with for when I do um, restock. 
Oh, and the only other thing I really have in my pantry on this side, um, I have this cereal dispenser. I need to refill it, but I like this because it makes it really easy for Zaya to serve herself. Cereal, it's an airtight thing. Um, it has a lid on the bottom and the top, and you just take the bottom off and turn this to dispense the cereal directly into your bowl. And you can obviously have like three different types of cereal. You can also use this for like rice and beans and lentils and dog food, cat food, whatever you want to use it for. You don't have to just put cereal, but it works really well for Zaya to be able to like serve herself cereal. And now that the pantry is all cleared out, there used to be stuff all in the way of it, but now it's a nice clear area for Zaya to go and serve herself cereal in the morning. So yeah, I will try to link things in the description box. Definitely check the description box for links to containers and things like that. Um, if there's anything that you guys don't see in the description, definitely leave a comment and let me know. But yeah, that's it. I'm super happy with it.